Hey, what is going on everybody? So today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install macOS Big Sur version 11. That's going to take some getting used to. We've had macOS 10 for many, many years now. Well, yeah, we're finally ready for a whole new chapter here and I'm about ready to leave Catalina behind. So <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about how to install this real quick. All right, so the first things first, you wanna to go to your system preferences and then you wanna head over to the software update section. Now, when you go into software update, it's gonna to have to check uh, for updates, but once it finds it, you will see the macOS Big Sur right here. And it is quite a large update coming in at 12.18 gigabytes. Now this is actually larger than Catalina, if I remember correctly. I think this is several gigabytes larger, so this is definitely going to take a little while to do here. Also, there is another update, which is actually Safari 14.0.1, and it shouldn't take too long to do, uh, but it says it has some new bug fixes and things like that, even though we have already have pretty much all of those with Safari version 14, but whatever. Now before you actually uh, get going here, it's a good idea to back up your computer. You never know what might happen, especially on some of these major updates like this. Again, you never know, upgrade at your own risk. I haven't seen too many people have problems with Big Sur other than uh, the Apple servers being down yesterday and causing people to get day long downloads, but that should all be good to go now. But yeah, always remember, back up your computer before you do any major update like this. All right, so this is going to take a while to download. So you can just click on the upgrade now and it's going to begin downloading Big Sur. Now, depending on your internet connection and Apple servers, well, this could take a little while or it could be relatively reasonable, but you're gonna be probably a good 30 minutes at least uh, to download this. So while it's downloading, you can go ahead and let your computer be backing up as well. But once this gets done downloading, we should be greeted with the Big Sur installer. So I'll come back whenever this gets done. So once that gets done downloading, it's actually going to open up the installer here. And we're pretty used to seeing the macOS installers. This obviously is downloaded and then will be deleted once the installation is complete. Uh, you can actually even see it here in your launch pad. But anyways, let's go ahead and start going through this installer. So you want to hit continue. You want to agree to the terms here. And it's going to want you to click agree one more time. It's going to then ask you where you would like the installation to be put. And of course, we just want our default Macintosh HD. You hit continue again. It's gonna ask you for your password here. So go ahead and enter that in. And once you do that, it's going to begin the installation process here. So I imagine once this gets done, it will ask us to then restart and continue on with the installation. All right, so now it is closing all of the applications and then it's going to restart automatically for us and begin the install. So it's getting ready to go here. And I imagine we'll see an Apple logo here in a second. All right, there's the Apple logo. It actually, interestingly, shut down completely. And I honestly thought it wasn't coming back on. It sat there a long time but it is coming back on, so I hope that's a good sign. So another restart and another loading bar, as you can see. And I imagine this is gonna happen several more times. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pause the video and then come back whenever this thing decides to give me a setup screen, I guess. All right, guys, so about 30 to 45 minutes or so, we are now here on the lock screen. You can see it already looks quite a bit different, definitely a larger uh, picture here and just, you know, that new wallpaper and even on the secondary monitor there. But uh, let's go ahead and enter the password and see what's next. All right, so it's asking me about Mac Analytics, which I do not prefer to do that. So I'm just gonna hit continue on that one. And now we're setting up your Mac here. So I guess that was the only question it needed to know for me anyways. And there we go, we're now here on the desktop and 
Wow, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about these right here. Those are some interesting looking icons, but you can also see uh, the new ones uh, down there for things like messages, calendar, and notes, and even iMovie. But yeah, guys, that's basically how you install macOS 11, almost said 10, uh, <laughs> Big Sur. You know, wow, this, this new design is uh, definitely something else. The icons are pretty interesting looking, uh, but we have the, you know, all new notification center with the widgets, kind of like what we got in iOS 14. Pretty much every menu is different. Uh, I mean, this is just a huge update. There's so much to talk about, but yeah, first impressions really, uh, it, it's an interesting design. I mean, it's gonna grow on everybody. But things like this right here, those look just a little weird to me. But like I said, it's gonna take some getting used to. But that's all I got today in this video, guys. I just wanna show you how to install this, get it downloaded up and running. Uh, I am gonna have a video coming probably in the next day or so, depending on how long it takes to make because there are a ton of new features in this release but I will be doing an everything new in Mac OS Big Sur video, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video when it comes out. Also, in the comments down below, let me know is there anything specific video-wise that you guys want to see with Mac OS 11 Big Sur. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel as always, and I'll catch you on the next one.